now that we have we have understood what the water flow is we ultimately have to define what the electric flux is electric flux is and i have left whatever we had done in the last video to 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 understand that we had come till this point now if instead of this velocity vector it is the electric field lines which flow if the flow is the electric field it is called an electric flux it is denoted by phi e e stands for electric why <clears throat> because we also have magnetic flux and that will be defined by phi b okay so phi e is nothing but e dot s for a plane area for a plane area and and parallel electric field lines okay parallel electric field lines but we know that otherwise it is e dot delta s which for the exact thing becomes e dot ds over the surface s okay so it is nothing but v replaced by this v replaced by e because that is what seems to be flowing in case of an electric field correct now this has great connotations in electrostatics and that you'll understand when we go on to study the gauss's law but this fact that the flux is is this or this okay Okay, the flux is this or this. That is to be kept in mind, and it is it is quite simple to keep in mind, just because we now very well understand what it means when it is an area and this is this is water flowing. So so if we if we keep it keep in mind in terms of the the volume of water that flows, then we understand that this is this is just the counterpart of it. Okay. why it has been defined what is the use of it that will be known to you when you go to the gauss's law okay